Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to the Swiss Confederacy campaign for Napoleon Total War and if you remember from last time we started to lay siege to Klausenburg, Transylvania this is my army my general is called Oskar Reichmann we defeated the Austrian army around about here where my cursor is and now we are besieging the Austrians who have a fairly depleted army I think we can actually take Transylvania and we will assault them in this battle. And we could order us all, but I would like to get another battle in this series. Battle of Transylvania, 1808. And it's been a great series. I've enjoyed making these videos. I've enjoyed this series. And the one thing which, if I'm going to take anything from this series, the one thing probably would be the connection with, with you guys, basically, because... I've had so many um, people from Switzerland that have subscribed to my channel. I was just checking the the analytics page the other day for my channel. And I think Great Britain and America are the uh, the two highest placed countries for subscribers for my channel. And then you've got in third place Switzerland. So. It is quite nice to actually see that and to see that there is interest in my videos. So, a big thank you from me. You know, it, it's great to actually be doing this, and it's great that there's so many Swiss people wanting to see Switzerland do well in this campaign. And I will try my best to get Switzerland to do well. And I will try to remember to unlimber my cannons this time because it's something I forgot to do last time. Keep my general near the cannons. Got cavalry there, and we have two flanks then for my main army. My cannons can actually start firing. They are going to start firing now. Here we go. Cannons start to fire. Bang bang. Happy days. There he goes again. Oh, good shot. I like the fact they said that the spikes along by you for for the cavalry. So yeah, that's not working for them, is it? <laughs> Bring this line to this tree right here, I think. About there, they have say. I'm going to bring my right flank up as well. Uh, start flanking around, I think. Bring him to the centre. It's about there. My special formation. One of my favourite formations I'm trying to play at the moment. If you guys want to take note, if you want to try some new multiplayer battles for Napoleon. Basically, it's, I call it a V formation. What I like to do, two lines. One V here, another V here. It's quite, it's quite out of shape at the moment, but one V on the left. One on the right to form a V. The centre with cannons, and I place other units then um, where possible. Come on, form square, you fools, form square. Type to form square, guys, come on, form square for me. Oh, you unit can't form square because mother shit, it doesn't matter. The Gauss square is going now. Any moment. Actually, my general, we could probably bring up. Put my general up. Get him attacking. I would need him after all. Could bring in the full line forward by lots of things. That's fine by me. Let's bring this line up and reform. Same with this line, I want to reform as well. Reform some of these units. Um, I'll get back to my map now in a second, because I'm you my my favourite Napoleon formation anyway. Um, if I can, so I can zoom up as well. Oh, I've been flanked up. I've flanked right here. Didn't even notice that. I'm gonna lose my cannons if I'm not careful. General, you may have to get involved. I might get lucky to find out. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! I'm under attack and it's my own fault. Right. If you're out there, bring him back. No, no, no point in being in the way. These units are doing fine at the moment, plus my cannons. Basically, let's get back to the group before I get back to the battle. One V on the left flank, one V on the right flank. The centre with cannons. Cavalry, either side, obviously yeah, this isn't a full stack, but cavalry then supported behind the lines, I can then use them to go inside the two lines. So this general unit here, or this cavalry can go inside the cross field to charge, or they can go behind the lines to flank on the outside. Pretty decent um, formation that I've played around with in the past. I've had quite a bit of success with it, as one which I, I would recommend to try out perhaps in your online battles, just to see if anything useful can happen. But at the moment we've got some Chevalier Gars that are going to try to outflank me on this left flank. So I'm going to quickly form square here 
which I've done. Let's zoom in and see some of the action here. This cavalry doesn't stand a chance against my square. They will be taken out shortly. Doing very well now in the centre here. My line, this line, can be taken out of the square. And they can actually all come forward to reinforce. If we take them to about there, run them into formation. Formation and doing a very good job at the moment. I will. Oh, this unit's the militia unit, I believe. Well, nope, for some reason, why can't I form square? Is it because it's not to mend the unit? I'm not sure. Probably 37, yeah. They haven't got enough men the unit, that's why they can't form square. That's okay, doesn't matter. We're getting plenty of uh, shots away. And they're firing into their flank here as well. Uh, this unit can form square, I think. Try to reduce the target for them on this flank. Austria are going to be wiped out after this battle. This will be the end of Austria. Bring all these units onto this flank now. And they're going to be completely outflanked. The V will then form into an L as I tighten my grip on the Austrians. So this is my main Napoleon tactic. So if you're ever playing an online battle, <laughs> look out for this. <laughs> I'm giving you all tips by here at the moment for my Napoleon game. Let's bring these to into square and bring these to flank right around into the rear. Let's march them into position quickly. I want to wipe out Austria here. Wipe the Austrians out. And these five units. Again, we'll focus on this one unit here. And these units. Come around again. Come on. Run right around. Come on. See an opportunity to take the general out here. Everyone focus on the general. We'll soon take this general unit out. There's only eight left. Seven. It's gone. Oh, look at that cannon fire. Just took a few of the horses out. The general's still alive. Oh, only a few more left. What a lovely view that is. The Austrians retreated from battle and we'll end the battle there. Heroic victory. What a way to end that um, battle. And that should be the end of Austria now. We've wiped them out. Only lost 136. They lost all their men. We have taken this great place. We won't uh, liberate. We want to occupy because we need regions, we need wealth. If we're ever going to take on the French. So at the moment, I don't think we're at war with anybody. Certainly nobody that we have to worry about. Decent army here. We can uh, bring my agent out. Have a little scout around for me, see what's what's around. Um, rebuilding the cantonment there. That uh, gives me militia, line infantry, and cheval guards. Um, take a few turns to uh, rebuild my main army there. I do have cannons being built in Venice, so I will be ferrying them around to my east flank over here. I'm going to be looking to take these Russian provinces out. I'm not, not at war with Russia at the moment, but I know they need to be taken out. Sir? Eventually. Let's march my agent around. Use my agents just to see what's nearby, what provinces I can take. I mean, I don't really want to be corked out this far north. I don't want to, I don't want to do what Napoleon famously did and take a large army from France to Russia and have a completely terrible campaign in Russia and be sent back with his tail between his legs. So we've got to think about this. I only need these provinces just so I can fight against the French later in the game. But I'm going to end the episode there. So the Austrians are finally defeated. I have been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.